Eggplant parmigiana. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't know how to say it because she said it wrong. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> the cows are all like, Rrr. oh my goodness. We'll keep you guys updated. You guys will know in like two seconds. Good morning, guys. Today is a rainy day, but a very special day because today is the day that Audrey and Spencer are going to get sealed in the LDS temple, the Logan LDS temple. So this is the same temple that David and I were sealed in. I'll actually show you. I think you guys have seen pictures because in most of our videos, the temple is shown. It's right here. They were married for a time civilly and in a wedding a week ago and now today. Now they are going to be sealed for eternity. So this is pretty big. This is, they wanted to get married in the temple, but um, the temples were closed due to COVID. And so they were able to open up and they got an appointment. They're going to get sealed today. So it's an exciting day. We're all going to go to the temple and I think Jordan and the boys will sit outside of the temple. Um, they're not old enough to go in to the ceremony, but David and I and the grandparents and his parents and grandparents will all join them and get to see them sealed for eternity. So pretty exciting. All right, you guys, we are here at the temple. It's right there. Dun, 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 dun. Hopefully we can get a better view of it when we go on the other side. So we are just going to walk the temple grounds and go look at all the beautiful scenery while they go get sealed. And um, also, we don't have masks on right now because nobody else is out here and we're out in the open air. Everybody else that went inside does have masks on, just so you know. But we're staying very far apart from people, so I think we're okay for right now. But we're just gonna walk around. Today is a super special day. It's very exciting. Very cool. Here is the outside. It's a little bit hard to show because um, the trees. Let's see if I go over here, if you could see it a bit better. Um, there we have a picture frame of the temple of the Logan Temple um, above our fireplace in our house, and we get a lot of questions like, "What is that pretty castle?" Which it is so gorgeous, <laughs> but it's actually not a castle. It's um, a temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. And if you want to learn more about temples, then you can look up the website www.lds.org if you want to. That's just our church's website and everything. Um, if you didn't know. Or members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So it's very pretty. Oh, I want to show you guys these flowers. Okay, let me say the people who like garden here are very skilled because their flowers and all that stuff always is top notch. It always looks so gorgeous. Everything here is like super well maintained. I just want to show you because it's so pretty. This is just a great place because it's super reverent and you can feel peace here. Alrighty, so Audrey and Spencer got sealed in the temple, which was super yeah. cool, very exciting. And now we're going to go to Olive Garden and have some lunch. To celebrate, because yep. we're so happy for them. I know, it's so it was fun. really special, so cool. it was neat. And it was it's a nice day out, so. Yeah, it's it kind of chilly, but like it's not freezing. But it like also it's kind of good because it's not sweltering, you yeah. know? <laughs> After they got sealed in the temple, they wanted some pictures on the yeah, temple grounds. So they, Jordan and Spencer's brother <laughs> ended up taking photos. For the photographers. For them. Yeah, yeah, and for everybody. So We got some good pictures. It was pretty fun. I think Audrey and Spencer are getting ready so they can go on their honeymoon. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Hey, eating at Olive Garden. What are you going to order? Probably salmon. I'm trying something new. Or are you going to get the parmigianiana? Eggplant parmigianiana. <laughs> now I don't know how to say it because she said it wrong. So it's just eggplant parm. So why are you so fancy and she's like casual? Why are they all casual? they drove home and changed. <laughs> they were smart. They changed. And the rest of us are in fancy clothes. Yeah. We're going to use real silverware today. We're going to get fancy. And we got the kids table back over there. <laughs> 
Yeah. It, it just happened that way. I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's a couple days later, a few days later actually, and we decided to go camping. And Audrey and Spencer are off on their honeymoon. And we have this whole entire camp area. It's kind of just like a massive parking lot. We have it to ourselves other than there are some cows. <laughs> we have a lot of cow neighbors here. And they're a little bit like cautious of us. They're talking to each other, warning their friends of us. Um, they're staring us down. It's so funny. Check out this cow. These cows are like so Logan worried Logan wants to go say hi, but I have him on a leash because I don't want the cows to feel threatened and like yeah. come after oh us. Oh my gosh, they're like all like... I'm like, we're, we're making sure Logan keeps his distance because he cows. likes to run around. Anyway, our plan is that we're going to go four-wheeling either today or probably tomorrow. Kind of camp over and chill and really do nothing. There's no Wi-Fi up here. <laughs> Read so books. We just get to relax, games. play games. Yeah, I brought some card games. Which is really Have nice. Have some yummy food. We don't usually do that. <laughs> no, we don't. I The only thing I forgot to do is we like to, when we camp, we like to watch a movie before bedtime. And I think that I have no movies downloaded on my phone. So I don't know if that'll happen tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to a really cool place Logan. where we get to go see, it's called Old Ephraim's Grave. And it's this massive giant bear, like the largest bear in the United States. Wow. Um, it's his grave site. Like, so you'll have to look up the story of Old Ephraim. It's pretty good. Like he came charging up on this person and stood up all and all his big paws. And it was from a long, long, long time ago when the trappers used to come here to Utah. So this is very, very old. I don't know the story. <laughs> I'll have to look it up and tell the story. We're by um, like a town where they can have like a shake shop and I really want to go now so because I love my milkshakes. But I don't know if we'll drive over there because I'm pretty sure the milkshake place is only open for summer. It's kind of like a summer community. Like where, I mean, there's people there year round, but most people just go for summer. So I don't know, we'll they see. Could. I don't know, yeah, we'll, see. we'll decide. We'll keep you guys updated. You guys will know in like two seconds. Look at Ty go, he's ready to go on his motorbike. Yeah, and I just now, went up and I spreaded all the cows out. Yeah, there are so many cows out. here now. They're surrounding us and they're mooing. Look at how many calves there are. Yeah, there's a lot of baby cows up here. Okay, so um, I don't know when dog. this video is going up, but we don't have the new puppy yet. And Logan's like a hunting dog, so he would rather go and like hunt and stuff, even though we've never taken him hunting. That's He's just, a bird hunting. That's just the type of breed. That's what they like specialize in. But the other dog that we're getting is a herding dog, and so they love to herd like anything. together animals or anything. And so or sheep or cows. <laughs> it'd be so funny. But we, of course, we wouldn't let him do it because we don't want him to get hurt or anything. But that's just what's natural to their breed. So it would be so interesting. Do it. Alrighty, it's dinner time. And we actually made Dutch oven chili because it's kind of getting chilly outside. It's chilly. <laughs> Get it? And now we're going to watch Twilight, Twilight which, which okay. I've seen it. You but. guys have watched it, but I've never watched it. I kind of thought it would be fun to watch it because it's very hyped up. And I figured if it's cheesy, Oh, it's cool. I think it's a girl show. I figured Isn't it kind of like a chick flick. Well, girls like it, but guys, well, will guys like can it too. like it too. It doesn't really matter. Chili's in these big mugs, hot chocolate but mugs. But I figured if it's yeah. cheesy, it'll be really fun to watch because sometimes I love a good cheesy movie just to laugh at it. So we're what you call boondocking, which means you don't go plug into things. We have a generator running outside out behind the trailer so that we have power. Because if not, we would have no power and we'd just be sitting here staring at each other. Yep. And we had like to bring this. just the amount of water that we've got. That's Once it's gone, it's gone. So, short right. showers, boys and girls. Tomorrow we're going to go four-wheeling and go up to ooh, where ooh. I was telling you about, about um, Oldie from his grave. So, Funny. movie time. Logan has been so 
so cute. I even got some pictures of him and everything, of like him just like snuggled up in blankets. And currently he's sitting on the boy's bed with his blankets looking. Hi, baby. He was laying down like this. Here, lay your head back. Lay your head back. Put your head back down like this. Good boy. And he was laying like this. It was so cute. So I just had to show. Good morning. It's a new day and the boys are up. We've had breakfast, but the boys are out riding their, their motorbikes. And then I think we're gonna go for a little walk and then go up to Old from his grave tomorrow, or this afternoon. Jake's gotta get a bigger motorcycle. Yeah, he does. Jake's outgrown this one. Woo! since I was a tiny little girl and heard all the stories and I've never made it back here and I always wondered what it looked like and what the area looked like. Obviously, very beautiful mountains. It is gorgeous back in here. That was a nine uh, mile, I almost said nine hour, nine mile trek on four wheelers back here. That was so cool. That and was it'll so be nine fun. miles out. I can't imagine hiking all that. I love four wheeling. Yeah, I cannot imagine hiking that. That was that's wow. awesome. I've wanted to do this for so long it's and so now it's pretty. like literally right over there. We're gonna go take a look. And it's way pretty, like the leaves. Oh my gosh. Wasn't that a beautiful ride? Yeah, I that love was amazing. It. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. In Memram. Okay, so this is the bear and I think it stood this tall. Oldie from Oldie from Your Deeds Were So Wrong, yet we build you this marker and sing you this song to the king of the forest so mighty and tall we salute you all from the king of them all so it's a one and a half ton native stone it's symbolic of the grizzly bear called Ephraim who ranged this area old Ephraim he for many years he killed sheep cattle and game and was trapped shot and buried near here in August 1923 by Frank Clark of Mount Malad Idaho standing upright the bear e was nine foot 11 inches, which is the height of this monument. This is why when Frank came to kill him, he actually kind of fell backwards as the old Ephraim reared up on his hind legs. He fell backwards and he was able to fire off a shot before the bear attacked. This That's a huge bear. Nine, what, five foot four? Yeah, this is nine foot 11. Yeah. Wow. He weighed 1,100 pounds. And in what in the Smithsonian Institute, his skull is there. You can see. This is a huge. That's bear. so crazy. That'd be huge. So, oh, and then they built this like rock stone to. Yeah, but he. I don't know that he's buried here. He was just shot and killed, buried near here. That's huge. That's that so big crazy. Bear. Here, Ty comes in the picture. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Wow. Wow. That's so tall. That's so tall. Alrighty, we're back from the camping trip and what a great week it has been. We got to see Audrey and Spencer sealed in the temple, which was super neat. So if so you want to cool. check out more of our Christian faith and learn more about what we believe in and why was Audrey and Spencer sealed in the temple, why we do sealings in the temple, which is like a second wedding kind of which is fun yeah. or it could be just your main wedding <laughs> anyway you can go to come unto christ.org and learn more about our beliefs
Also, we went camping, which was super nice to get away afterwards and yeah. just escape everything and have just a break. Escape the world and like enjoy nature. When you're <laughs> camping really nice. and you have no Wi-Fi, like you, there's so much less distraction. People aren't working on social media. People aren't gaming. Like we just find that we all are more focused on family. <laughs> when we're away camping so it's really yeah. nice to get away and plus just for mental like yeah just to take a break and have a change of pace so it's been a good week anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye, bye.